guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Pink Lady, and today is a vlog again, as always, seems like. But um, I'm making it for, we'll go with two and, well, about two and a half, two? How you would say, like two and a half, maybe three, half, whatever. Well, I have like kind of like three days. Well, well, the first one is that um, on Sunday, me and my mom went to go see Mamma Mia 2, which is, I recommend you should go see. It's really, really, really good, good, good movie, especially if you like ABBA and all that, but it was really good. For being a sequel, it was really good. To me, it's kind of almost a prequel, like half its prequel, I guess you would say it, but, but all in all, it was a really, really, really good movie. Um, yesterday... I went to Silver Dollar City and rode rides and like I promised my friend I did wear his um his shirt and rode rides. Well he got to see a couple of them. Most of them I didn't get to get to take pictures because well for one couldn't take the camera with me to show anything because they didn't allow that otherwise I would have lost the phone and I really didn't want to do that. So I didn't get so in total, I rode six rides. Two of them I got to at least have pictures with, which, if anything, I did post those. I will probably post those eventually. <laughs> but I did take, went on two roller coasters that he got to see, which was, one was the Time Traveler, which was the um, newest ride there, which was very, very awesome. I would highly recommend to go on that roller coaster. It's different. You get to be in those like two seater things, but the thing is, the thing spins around. Like your seat spins around through the whole entire roller coaster, so either you're going backwards on a ride or you're going forwards on the ride. You, it's just it's really kind of cool because it keeps. And then at one point you stop, and then you get then you get to be shooted out, and it's really really fun. And you got to go on like loops and all that. It was really fun. Um, the other one I took a picture with was Wildfire, which is a very highly classic roller coaster there as of now for well for a while now. I remember when it first opened too. I rode it too, and I still have rode it to this day. And that one is. Um, it's like a typical roller coaster, it's, you sit in like a four seater and yeah, you go over loopy loops and downs and whatnot. So, <laughs> and another ride that I rode um, was um, Fire in the Hole, which is an indoor roller coaster, but it's not like a full roller coaster. You kind of go through kind of like a movie thing. Like you, it's like you go through and tell the story. Tell the story about the Bob Dollars. That was a big thing here in Missouri. They were kind of they were they were kind of like a, a the bad group of the, of this area, so um, they caused a lot of heck and everything like that. So so that was interesting, and I got to ride um, the flooded mines, which is basically you're in a mine with prisoners and stuff, but it's a shooting game, so you have a shooting target. And I will one way over here post a picture right here and then show you the score I got. But you get to hit these targets and get a score. It's a really fun easy relaxing you just kind of float in the water and you kind of just shoot at everything <laughs> um the other ro another roller coaster i rode was thunderation which had no picture things that i couldn't write it either because they wanted your stuff to be put up so um so i put that stuff up <laughs> so i wrote that that's more of a roller coaster just basically it's just you're basically turning the whole entire time kind of like it, it, you're either going like yeah but you never there was no ups or downs and there's like no over thing it's just kind of it's kind of your old wooden roller coasters almost without the loop-de-loops and all that stuff so i rode that one and um i rode the lost of the ozark which he got wet on <laughs> he really gets so i got so i do have a picture of before and then i have a picture before you know the whole ride i'd look kind of like Bleh. and then i then i took another one which was after you can't see my shirt being so wet because majority of it was on the back of me so it was like well that makes sense we'll just be so you know in the back pretty much so you couldn't see you know what you do get so depending on where you sit and how it is it's kind of like that where it's kind of like a uh, russian roulette so you don't know if you're gonna get one or not that's basically how that ride goes let's see is that so i had the time traveler thunderation wildfire um flooded mines yep that's all six actually I had to think about it and make sure I was saying all six of those rides because, I mean, it was a lot. So then I did go to a saloon show there. I went to one show, and it's a really highly recommended show to go there when you go to Silver Dollar City. 
here in Branson, Missouri. And um, you can see like showgirls and stuff like that. It's a funny show and it's really good. And they do have, I didn't get it this, this time around, but I, they do have really good root beer floats. So I suggest that you would check that out and watch and enjoy the laughter, the craziness and stuff and some of the jokes and everything like that. So I enjoyed that show. I always try to at least go there once when I go to Sibidar City. And it's a very, really good show. And they have a lot of food places there too that are really, really good. I didn't eat any of it because I was like expecting a big meal here at the condo with my aunt and my mom. Um, but they have a lot of barbecue. They have some, like a pizza place. They have burgers and hot dogs and popcorn and you can get drinks in a souvenir cup. I didn't get any of it, but if you do go, it's worth it to get. They have a candy store here. They have a lot of shop. In, in that place, they have a lot of shopping. I mean, they have a Christmas store that's open year round. I mean, they have all kinds of, and you can get handcrafted stuff. Like you can get your name on like on a bat or you can get your name on anything pretty much. So, I mean, it's really, really awesome. They have shows, and they have different theaters, and they have show, different shows. There wasn't a whole lot yesterday for shows, so uh, it was very limited. So, But all in all, it was a really busy, long day. That's why I didn't get a chance to vlog about it and stuff like that because of it was just a long, long day <laughs> being out in the sun and stuff. And oh, and I do have a, a hill that's there. They have a big, hilly park, and it's a huge hill. I sit there and talked about it, and I was, and I walked up and down that hill a lot. I'll tell you what, I got my exercise in, and I'm there. And there you go, Albert. There is my almost training for the Tough Mudder. If you ever wanted to do it, I got some training in, and that's a pretty good place to probably go train <laughs> the, the hill, at least with your endurance and your cardio and stuff. Because man, you that hill is steep, 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 steep hill, but. But then that, that was pretty much all day what was happening yesterday. Well, today, I'm doing a kind of go part, and the other part's going to be tomorrow. But the first part is, if you guys haven't realized, I'm wearing this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful necklace. And it's blue. And if anybody has seen the movie, let's see, let's get over. Yes, you will know where this is from. Can you guess what it is, guys? Yep, and of course, if you did get it right, it was from the Titanic. I visited the Titanic today, and it's a very, very awesome museum here in Branson. And you got some of the from some of the um, artifacts from the ship itself, and it has a lot of good history with it, and all that. And come to find out, uh, Branson, Missouri, has um, the privilege. And I, I don't know if I saw it or if it's gone now, but had the privilege of actually having the violin from the head uh, the head band master there that was really his violin that was displayed at the museum. I didn't see it per se, per se but I wish I did. I didn't really look closely, but it's a really good place to go tour. I mean, you learn a lot and everything, but you also do, you get this, a boarding pass when you go in and it tells you all about like Permission to grant to come aboard, and it's like April 10th, 1912, at noon, depart Southampton, England, and on April 10th, 1912, approximately 8:30 p.m., departs Cherbourg, Cherbourg, I don't know how you say it, France, and on April 11th, 1912, 1:30 p.m., departs from Queenstown, Ireland. So those were the, so it started in Southampton, England, and the last known port that they actually stopped at was Queenstown, Ireland at 1.30 p.m. on April 11th. So from that on, they were sailing to America, to New York. Well, they didn't make it to New York, just to tell you the truth. Um, about 11.30 p. 11.40 or 11.30 p.m. on, well, it was, it was on April 11th, I think, or was it, or 12th? No, well, what was the bleh? God, no, you gotta know about anything, but, um, yeah, I mean, from the time it's, you know, it's something stuff, on, and then, I think it was, it was 11.30 p.m. on, I want to say April 12th, no, it wasn't April 12th, I'll let you know here down below what the time is, I know it was in April, but after the, basically the Queenstown, Ireland, that's basically from there on, and then that, from that point on, that's when they hit an iceberg and, of course, the sinking. And it ended up sinking at 12.40. 
12, 20, 12, 2, no, 2, 20, so from 11, 30 from the day before to 2, 20 the next day, the next, well, the next morning, basically, early morning, Titanic sunk to, to, to the bottom of the ocean at 2, 20 on the next day, but I'll put down here the, um, the date, so, um, so that was a very interesting, well, they give you the boarding pass, so when you first walk in and stuff, you get a boarding pass, which on the back of this boarding pass has a person. Well, and it, and it tells you the history of the thing. That was my person that I got and stuff. And it tells you the history, like the story of what, how they were on before and all that and where they're from and how old they were and stuff like that. Well, mine was Mar Margareta Spedden. I was a first class, per my person was a first class passenger, age 40. Oh, look, I'm such a beautiful 40 year old. <laughs> And the residence was Tuxedo Park, New York. Well, they were coming from a European trip and to go back home to America. So I'm, that's what it sounds like to me. But I mean, but anyways, it goes, hello, my dear. I'm Margareta Daisy, quote, quotation Daisy. She was called Daisy Spedden from Tuxedo Park, New York. I'm the wife of Frederick Spedden and a mother of six-year-old Robert. I have a six-year-old son, guys. <laughs> well, at least she did. <laughs> From the day he was born, his father and I have devoted our lives to him. Fortunately, we, we're financially secure and can afford, afford to shower him with all the things a boy his age enjoys. We generally spent our summers in Bar Harbor, Maine, and wintered at various resorts around the world. In 1912, it was um, Al Greer's Monte Carlo, Martin, I don't know, it's A-L-G-I-E-R-S. I don't know how you pronounce that, but I don't know where it's from. But then they did visit Monte Carlo and Paris. Traveling with us were um, my personal maid, Helen, and Robert's dear nanny, Elizabeth Burns, or Muddy Booms, as he called her. So during the summer, um, they spent their summers in America. So they're from America, of course. Well, it says Tuxedo Park, New York. Color. So... They were at that time wintering, so they were coming back from their winter trip over European when they rode the Titanic. Well, life aboard Titanic was everything we had hoped for, elegant, sophisticated, entertaining, and safe. We felt content until the iceberg broke the spell. When we noticed the ship beginning to tilt, we dashed for the lifeboats. Cradle in our son's arm, arms was his beloved Polar, a white mohawk hair stuffed polar bear would pull pol polar and robert be allowed into the lifeboat would i see my family again these are questions they ask you did, did the bear make it did the kid have the thing and the footnote of interest daisy spinnis wrote to polar the titanic bear in 1913 for her son this beautifully illustrated storybook is available in the titanic library i would so love to find that book because i would love to look at that book the um Polar the Titanic in I, Polar the Bear Titanic. Yeah, so it's a kid kid book. We talk about her son. I th yeah, the way it sounds. Well, she did survive. So did her son, and so did her husband. So they both survived that that um, incident of the Titanic. So luckily, you know, my people did. Um, so I mean, there was a lot of people that died. Like if I can remember right, majority of the passengers that got saved were the first class, which was kind of sad in my book it, it really was sad the majority that didn't get to save the most was third class which basically in our society that's the poor group so middle class was kind of kind of even but not fully but majority of the people that got saved were first class well because you know back then that's how society worked with the first second and third class but it was kind of a sad little thing to notice and there was a lot of you know there was a lot of kids in the third class. I mean, there. I think, if I remember right, there. I think there was like 53 children on the third class. And in like in first class, there was like only like six known kids, which was my person's son was one of them, was known as one of the kids. So, I mean, it depends on the class. You could see how many, you know, had kids. So, I mean, and just imagine most of those kids passed away. You know, because of you know, third class didn't get a chance to be saved. It was always the first, the first class, and then you know, you go to second. You know how it goes. You go from one, two, three. So it was kind of sad to know. And then you know, got the crew members that passed away, the musicians that passed away, but they kept playing their songs until the very last moment of the sinking of the ship. 
basically try to try to lighten the mood for the people but you know what they fell with the ship and the captain died with the ship also because i mean wouldn't that be like a good captain <laughs> so so that's how the titanic worked and it was like like in they showed you know um stories about it they showed you like even what a third class um cabin looked like which was really kind of nice in some way but not like fully nice but it was very cramped they had like a sink in the middle and stuff and then on both sides this way there was two beds so bunk bed type way so they, they had the spaces they even had electricity down there so they weren't like totally like not you know out of the dark you know they weren't like using candles and stuff because electricity was still kind of new at that time so it was pretty nice that they even got electricity you know not just the same as the first class got you know electricity so i mean also you know they had you know and also to tell you the truth guys Jack Dawson and Rose, whatever, I don't know how they said her last name, they weren't real characters, they weren't real people in the Titanic, they were made up characters for the movie. So, just to let you guys all know that they're not <laughs> real characters, I had to tell somebody today at the museum that they weren't real people. <laughs> people thought, you know, they were putting, you know, names together, but no, they weren't real people at all. So, it was just a nice little, oh, fake story to tell. So, I mean, you got, it, it was very cool. And, you know, they celebrated the women on there, too. There was a lot of women that did a lot of things. There was a fashion designer. There was an actress at the time, a silent film actress on there. There were some ladies that became part of, like, sentence and stuff like that. And all the, it, It's a really cool thing that they became after the fact of Titanic or, you know, before Titanic. You know, either or, if they lived or not. So, and... I highly recommend to go visit if you ever come to Branson, Missouri to visit the Titanic Museum or if there's another Titanic, I think there's another Titanic Museum somewhere else, but if you get a chance to do Titanic, I highly suggest you get to do that. And they also, I guess, actually on the boat itself, that there is that, you know, you know, you see in the movie that, that staircase that, you know, Rose comes down and stuff, that was actually on the boat, which was really, really kind of cool. And you get to walk up like kind of like a replica of it, and it's kind of cool. It makes you, and to me, it felt like I was in the movie. So it was like, oh, this is so cool. I love it. So I mean, but and also you get to take pictures, the little, little give you pictures, and you get to do all kinds of stuff. So you get a picture with yourself by the the grand staircase, which is really really kind of cool. And you also get the one that's kind of like in front of the boat with a lifesaver. So I thought that was a very cool little thing I am here by a green screen I mean you can't just you know but all that and also you can purchase this beautiful beautiful necklace I love it it's so pretty it's like oh it's more costume jewelry it's not real guys so FYI you're not going to spend a pretty penny on it it's a cost like costume jewelry that's how I see it as it's a costume jewelry so it also since you know of course you're titanic I got these little little posters because, of course, you don't see anything unless you were like you know you got to be around when the movie came out. But I did get some movie little posters. Here's one, one of them, the Rosa Jack, and then here's the other one. When they're so, so yeah, I I thought I was like oh I would get these because you know I, I enjoyed the movie just as much as anything else. It was really cool and all that. So. Anyways, guys, that's like this. And today, I am planning on going to see the show Samson. It's supposed to be a very, very awesome show. And I'll let you guys know tomorrow how that show went. And how, if it was worth it for you to come. And, so. Also, I, I have to put this out there. The reason why I didn't get too many pictures at the Titanic Museum. Because they didn't want you to take pictures because of copyright use. And stuff like that. So, FYI, that's why there's no pictures of the museum itself. It's a little disclaimer because I know people are probably like, why didn't you take pictures and all that? And I guess like, you can't. They do put it as a disclaimer that you can't do videotape or pictures because of copyright use. You know, because some of that stuff is, some people actually own the some of the stuff in that museum. So, so it's kind of like, yeah, you know, you don't want to do that. It's like, a, you know, it's like here on YouTube too with fair use and all that. And so that's the reason why there was no picture. So. Anyways, guys, that's it for me, so please like and share this video, and please subscribe, and if you do subscribe, hit the bell down below 
to know when I post. I post every Thursday unless I'm like this week is vacation. But I always post every Thursday. So and also just remember you guys are all a book and it's still being written. So I'll see you guys all next time.